welcome back welcome back welcome back to rpay.org rp stands for stands reimbursement premium adjusted yields so called account based healthcare account based consumer driven health for the first time i'm for doing first time, I'm my doing personal segment my personal opinion personal opinion regarding the health regarding the health i've never given I've my never personal given opinion my personal i've been opinion. talking I've quite a bit on health care let me go into details go why details. Why, why, why is it why i'm doing it, this I'm doing folks you need to understand you need to understand healthcare 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 is being is being hijacked, hijacked from the consumers from the consumers i strongly believe in that strongly believe in that healthcare has been hijacked healthcare from the consumers, from the consumers into, into into so called so one size fits all size fits whatever all, you may call it one size fits all, all one size fits premium based premium based insurer driven insurer driven bureaucratic 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 machine controlling machine the health controlling the health i really don't like i really don't like i really don't like the reason i say that i went I through I, me being a physician me can you imagine can you imagine me being a physician me being i went physician, through i went through a procedure a simple procedure simple procedure following a stress test i had an angioplasty i had an angioplasty and and it was uneventful it was and uneventful. everything went well 10 days later i received a bill received a bill from the hospital from the hospital yes from the hospital for a 23 hour stay I was billed for $227,000. Then, then I was shocked. I was shocked to say the least. I was shocked. I was shocked. I was shocked. On the top of it, on the top of I was surprised. I was surprised. Even the Medicare, even I have the Medicare supplemental, even the Medicare, even the Medicare paid the hospital $35,000 and the hospital can bill additional from the supplemental private insurer care so they must have so they must i'm have, sure they must have collected 50 to 60,000 to 60,000 but that's what but that's what but that's what pick me off pick me and i wanted to do something about it something because i took because i took that personally and i started and i started doing some research i have written several books now i'm i'm going directly to you to talk about healthcare why the healthcare costs are rising because because insurers are not interested in lowering the cost Insurers are definitely insurers not are interested definitely in lowering the cost because they have to show profits on Wall Street. Profits on Wall Street. You think you think you think government will lower the cost? You must be kidding. You must be kidding. Government cannot even handle the postal service. You mean to say they can handle the health care? That going to be another big debacle. And Medicare, the way it is. Operating Medicare has funds dwindling. funds dwindling. They don't have any more they funds don't have any because of the because of the because of the money being pumped into money the pumped middlemen, into middlemen, so-called bureaucrats, so -called middlemen, bureaucrats, middlemen, managed care organizations. Managed care organizations. Unfortunately, unfortunately, they saw the trend. They even, the the trend. even the healthcare professionals. Um, professionals. Sad, to say, sad to say, few of the healthcare professionals, the healthcare professionals are jumping the band bandwagon band band and band bag managing managing manage care managed organizations. Care organizations. My own colleagues, my own colleagues, are collecting are collecting your premiums. Your premiums. Your premiums. You. Medicare pays the middlemen, so-called middle managed, so managed care organizations. They call themselves as Medicare, Medicare Advantage, Medicare my, foot. Advantage. my foot. 
They're not Medicare Advantage. They want your money. They'll give you free eye care, free dental care, free this, free that. Folks, folks, that, that, that is such a misstatement. So misnomer. Medicare Advantage is a Medicare Disadvantage. I want to get to the bottom of this healthcare debacle we are going through. You mean to say now tomorrow, which Medicare is being mismanaged by the health and human services, they think they're going to handle better under Obamacare, whatever they may want to call it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What I'm saying is, you know who can lower the really lower the cost of the health care? You'll be surprised. You know, this this country of ours are good at retail sales. When consumers take charge, look at where we are in the consumer sector. We are the number one in the world. When you talk about consumers, consumers drive the cars down. No one else. No one else. Betting on you. No one else can lower no the cost. Lower neither the government, neither the nor the private sector. Not, not even the private sector. Not even the I'm, private I'm not kidding. I'm not I don't want to give the private sector the total, you know, like insurers are doing right now. I don't want the private sector to control the health care. It has to be public, private partnership. It has got to be public, private partnership, and it has to be consumer driven. The reason why I say public-private partnership, there is a rationale. Public-private partnership will have a health review authority. Health review authority. I should commend Ron Bachman, Ronald Bachman. He has been an actuary in the healthcare industry for the last 50 years. Ronald Bachman, I have spoken to him a few times. I, is a commendable, a commendable, a commendable actuarial. He actuarial. has done lots of he research. Lots he, of has research. he has radio has programs. He has healthcare, he has insights. healthcare insights. I give him the credit I give for, him what credit what for what he has done. What he has, he has, he has written a book. I have read that several times. Unlocking the secrets of health insurance. Amazing. He Amazing. pointed out where the problems are, where the problems are. I'm not making I'm not this up, folks. Making I'm not really up. making it up. Really this is up. from an actuarial from an actuarial who has who written, who has worked with both Democrats and Republicans and, and, and so-called Medicare supplemental is because of him, because not of him. anybody and else. He should get the credit for Medicare, credit supplemental. for Medicare Supplemental. What I'm seeing right what now, seeing right now he's, he has come up with a solution for health care, unlocking the secrets of health care premiums. How do we make the insurance premiums affordable? That's where I am heading, folks. I don't have any personal agenda, believe me. This is all a non-profit cause under the umbrella of foremost organization. I really want to make sure the health premiums are lower for everyone, especially especially person who has nothing. They have nothing. They, they don't have a home. They don't have a home. They live day to day. Live day we day need day. to take care. It's we our need. social it's responsibility, our social to, responsibility take care of these folks. to take care of these folks. How do we do that? How do we do Under that? the public private the public private Not the government control. Not the, government control. Not the private control. Not it the has, private control. has to be public private partnership. Under the umbrella of health review authority. Health authority. Their soul. Their soul. Their soul. Job is job to is take care of the take care of impaired, the so called so called so called pre existing pre existing illnesses. illnesses. Their main job their is main the job is individual 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 person is denied person the health insurance. Denied the health insurance. They give you they evaluate. They evaluate. 
assess and give you a certificate of guaranteed coverage to each and every person who is eligible. We have an issue. We have an issue. The, the, problem, the problem here is people with impaired, so-called impaired, they're only two to three percent of the folks. And if you add additional illegals and all that, even then, the numbers are small, folks, compared to 340 million people. You have 170 million under the under the private so called private they already have they already account based health care they do they do manage private companies like costco walmart you name it all large companies amazon they have a private capital to take care of their employees so that we don't need to worry about that the problem comes when Medicare, Medicare is being, is being mismanaged. mismanaged. Medicare funds Medicare are being, funds being mismanaged are being by the middle, so-called so -called mid level bureaucrats mid -level under the managed care umbrella, umbrella, which they are driving they are away driving the competition. Away the competition. They're consolidating. They're consolidating. So called these medical so -called groups. This medical groups. They are driving away the competition, away folks. The These medical groups, These medical groups are, no longer relevant. are no longer relevant. It doesn't make any sense to have medical groups. Have medical groups. What Medicare and what Health and Medicare Human Services is doing is pumping doing money is into these medical groups, so-called medical groups. So medical groups. There, it's your there, money. It's your money. Yes, it's your money. It's your money. They are giving almost $1,200 $1, to $1, every month. If I was given twelve to fourteen hundred dollars every month, I can do a better job of my own health insurance. I can get the best health insurance, and I can save on that twelve to fourteen hundred dollars premium if the money is given to me. I can understand lots of folks are lots of folks can take care of themselves. I very first question I get asked is, oh, most of the Americans don't know how to take care of their personal lives. Are you kidding? When it comes to the when it comes to the money management of money, most of the Americans are very sad. They know how to handle their own finances. You're talking about the small segment of the population, folks. Folks, you, can't you can't generalize. Americans are very, Americans smart. Are very you smart. You cannot generalize, you cannot generalize that, that, oh, Americans, Americans don't know how to take care of their health. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. I'm telling you, I'm if you, telling Americans were given a chance of to take care of their own health, they can do a better job than public, than a so-called a government or a private. It has to be under the public partnership. And it is consumer empowerment. It has to be. Account-based health care. Everybody should have the tools to put money aside into their health savings accounts. If the Medicare is spending $1,200 to $1,400, I would Buy a best in health insurance for five to six hundred and put savings into my health savings account, so called account based. And those funds will be used when I need the care. I will use those funds appropriately, not being abused, not being given. And this billing, so called, this billing system is all those. So, those, the, so the 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 numbers the, the numbers the, 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 they're all made up numbers, made folks. Up numbers. This DRG, this CPT DRG, course, CPT IC, course, IC, ICD, ICDP, ICDP, ten. They're all made up numbers. Made it's not consumer driven. It's not consumer driven. The way consumer the way consumer pays for it is for it, has, to be, for it, has to be has to be. Appropriate level of care. Level the technology is on the consumer side. Believe, side. Believe it not, folks. No matter what the government no wants to do, government no matter what anybody wants to do in Washington, technology is on your side. Yes. Yes. If I need a doctor, I will 
I will go on my mobile phone and my mobile phone have a telemedicine have a telemedicine. telehealth I can talk to my doctor. I can talk. Fifteen minutes. It should not be cost. It should not cost more than thirty bucks. And I can get a treatment. I can get it. It should not be more than fifty bucks. Appropriate level of care. So I don't have to be waiting in the waiting lobby of the medical offices or urgent cares or even emergency rooms. Emergency rooms. Their hospital emergency rooms are packed. They don't have enough personnel to take care of these so-called uninsured. These uninsured numbers are so-called uninsured. They are truly not uninsured. Some of them, they don't buy the health insurance for whatever the reason may be. But ultimately, ultimately, if we, if Americans were given the proper tools, like what we have right now, you know, when you have a payroll, you, you take out, you know, Medicare, you know, FICA payments, everything, you can, that money can be set aside into health savings. I'm pretty sure it can be done. Instead of taking the money for Medicare, for Medicare, at the, after the age of 65, they should give the money back into the, they should invest in all the seniors. They should, instead of giving it to the middleman, middle-level managed care organization, they should put the money back into the seniors' pockets. They should be able to get a private health insurance and put Money aside. Right, right now, if I'm on Medicare, if I'm on I Medicare, can't contribute I can't for health savings. For can health you imagine savings. that? Can you imagine that? I would like to contribute. I would like to contribute. Why, ta- why can't why ta- Medicare give me the money Medicare back what they're the putting into the middle of managed care organizations? I can I can put aside six seven hundred dollars into my own health savings. And health savings and health is the is the way to go. Is the way if the consumers, are in, if charge, the consumers are in charge, they will think twice they will think before twice. they have any. There are too many unnecessary. The cost of the care is going up because there are too many unnecessary surgeries. There is no appropriate, no appropriate, no appropriate, so-called quality because because. A lot of people say, hey, Americans don't know how to take care of their own health. I don't believe that. Americans are smart. Now with Google, now with Google and Google, Microsoft, Microsoft, you can get all your health information, all your health information all your in the palm of your hand. The technology is, the technology is, on, technology is forcing is Americans forcing to take care, of, take charge of their own health. Why can't we wake up and put money into the appropriate hands so they can take care of their own health? Healthcare. Healthcare. Yes, it is a right, yes, it is a but right. it doesn't mean. But it doesn't mean government has, government has can trample on you trample and tell you you have to go to this doctor, you have to go, you have to, go to this doctor, hospital, you have to, you to, have to buy hospital, only the. You, you cannot, you cannot do to the fellow Americans. The fellow Americans, are smart. Americans are too smart. They will never go for it. They will never go for a British system, Canadian system, so called, you know, you know. Socialized medicine. Socialized they will never medicine. go for it. They will never go for it. They will never go I'm telling you, I'm I've telling been in this country for over 45 years. I know what I'm talking about. Americans will Americans never go for it. Socialized for medicine. medicine. Socialized or Canadian. Or Canadians, Canadians are coming to Canadians this country to get the, the best health. We have the best health care. But, but we are wasting the money. We have spent three point eight trillion dollars. We should be number one. Why aren't we number one in healthcare, Delhi? Give me one simple answer, folks. Why aren't we number one after spending three point eight trillion dollars? You know why? Because consumers were ignored and people. So government is wasting government money is wasting to the mid-level organizations, organizations in billing. There are 9,000 billing companies. All billing companies are making profits. That's where the money is going. Do you really need billing? Why can't we pay as you go? Provide the tools. Provide the tools. That's the government job. Deregulate the health care. Every time they pass a new regulation, it costs. 
it cast the consume it cast it cast top down so instead of that give this of that give this put the consumers in the front the consumers in the front let them take care of let them take care of have the guidance council guide them in the right way. guide them when we have only 3% of the population of impaired they can't take care of themselves you mean to say america cannot take care of the 2 to 3% i don't believe it i don't believe it but you want to punish the rest of the all the folks your your when you talk about concept of insurance it has to be shared risk shared risk how 340 million you can do that you can do that when you have a four different categories like well categories like well majority of americans are well categories their premiums should not be more than 100 bucks yes yes i'm not kidding their premiums health insurance premiums should not be more than they hardly ever see a doctor they hardly, they hardly ever go to the hospital they hardly ever go to the any obtain any service their premiums should be lot lower a 30 year old should not be paying, should be paying less than 100 bucks for the health insurance their premiums need to be low when you're talking about at risk how many people are at risk you're talking about 20% of the population are at risk that diabetes hypertension you know smoking No, there are only 20% only folks 20%. Their, claims their claims are 25% only you know where the money is you know where the money being is wasted? being wasted being based so called chronic illness chronic category third category this is the third category 15% of the chronic illnesses only 15% the entire population have chronic illness their whopping claims are 50 48 to 50% that's where the money is going that's where the money is being spent on the chronic illness category they can be low they can be yes they can be low there's a way to do it you really need to focus really on them focus on Fifteen percent of the population. Premium should be Premium lower, should even, be for lower even for people with pre-existing chronic illnesses. If we do it right, do don't it punish right. the don't healthy punish folks. The healthy don't folks. go after don't go families after and families. raising their premiums. Raising Come on, premiums. that's Come not right. On. That's not right. That's not right. Catastrophe is a time limit. only 1% of catastrophic illness their claims are much smaller than what anybody so so let's have the premiums based on category that's where ron bachman has done a research on this he has come up with the number of folks what percent of the people are chronic illness their insurance premium should be based on should be based on them a um, risk should be shared among them not the entire 340 million people come on come on you can do that you can do that wealthy people or healthy people so called healthy so called their premiums should be premium should be shared among healthy category their claims are only 12% for god sake their sh- their premium should be lot lower should be lot lower you are talking about you are talking about majority of americans majority of americans their claims are less than 12% less than 12% so premium should be lot low premium should be lot low we should be number 1 we should be number 1 america should be number 1 and we can bring that 3.8 trillion dollar budget which has surpassed the national defense we can bring it, bring it down under 3 million and we will be number 1 and we will be number 1 How about that folks how about we can bring the cost down we the and you'll be number 1 in healthcare bill and, healthcare and people from across people the globe will be across the globe will be coming to america coming to america get the best health get the best health get the best that's my dream folks that's, that's my dream that's my goal my that's my as a consumers as a consumers dr bengala dr bengala on the behalf of on the behalf of rpay.org forpay.org for under the under the foremost organization foremost organization i'll continue to talk about healthcare as we move forward as we move forward we really need we to have really change we need to talk i would love to i would love educate each and, each and every american each and every to american get to know get to the bottom of the, the, the debacle we are facing we are facing 
If you talk to politicians, they tell you comprehensive solutions. My solution. There are no comprehensive solutions. You need to serve the Americans. That's what the government job is to provide the tools so consumers can take care of their own health. Being healthy, there are ways. Technology, everybody is focused on their health. Let's do that. Let's we will solve the obesity. We will solve, we will solve the mental solve illness the mental we are facing right now. We are facing right if you give the consumers give the, the, right consumers tools. the right tools. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. I'm your sub. I'm your sub. I'm here to stay. Continue to talk about healthcare revolution. So called healthcare revolution. We need to bring America back to be number one in healthcare delivery. Thank you. God bless. God bless. And, and salute. Salute.